today we're talking about the S250 uh, high performance drill stand, and this can, has a capacity up to 250 millimeters. And you can see here it has uh, a lightweight aluminum column with a, this, with a steel gear rack for, for the carriage and uh, welded tubular steel base. And you can see here it's got a roller type carriage. And the roller carriage is really excellent. There's no free play at all in this carriage, but yet it's still very anti-friction, so it's really, it's not taking up your energy trying to fight against it. And you can see it's got also some other options, like it's got a, a jack screw that has this nice handle, which helps you handle the machine. And right here you see it's, it's mounted with a uh, clamp, clamp type. Uh, but it also has, it's actually built into it, it has it has a standard dovetail type mounting spacer, which you would use for a regular rig mounting type drill motor. And here I'll show you how it works. Uh, first off, you have your lock, your carriage lock, and it goes this way to release, and it locks it. And the carriage lock just slides over like this. Sometimes it makes it easier if you move the handle a little bit to relieve the pressure. And then when you lock, you have to make it so it lines up. You have a multi-purpose handle. The handle can be used for, for tightening your, your clamp. It can also be used on both sides of the carriage. And it's also used for, for when you want to drill at an angle to your angle stop. So here we'll just change its angle. To adjust your guidance rollers, um, if you find there's looseness in your, in your carriage, you can adjust the two left side uh, rollers that are on eccentric shafts. The two on the right are not, so you don't adjust those. And all you need to do is, with your carriage locked, if you can turn the roller by hand, you, can, you need to adjust it. And so all you need to do is turn until it stops, and then go a further eighth of a turn, 
And then, to make sure it's not over tightened, you just uh, run your run your carriage up and down. Make sure it's not too tight. Now it's important to make sure you have the stand level before you finally tighten it, because very often you'll be on an uneven surface, and you have the four leveling screws that can allow you to make the stand uh, perfectly aligned and lined up with the, with the surface. And often you'll you want to take a spirit level and put it on the column and then watch the bubbles as, as you make your final adjustment of all four as needed to make sure the stand is perfectly aligned and then you finally tighten your anchoring bolt. Today we're going to talk about how we're going to mount our drill stand to the workpiece. And the best way to mount your drill stand is, is to use what we call a drop-in anchor. And so you're going to have to do your layout and you measure the distance from the center of your intended hole to where you're going to set your anchor and it depends on the size of your stand you can figure it out so here we'll, there, if there's a few tools that you're going to need before you begin first you're going to need a rotary hammer and you're going to have to have the right size drill bit for your drop-in anchor and and you should drill to the correct depth and then you drive in your anchor with your with a driving tool for the anchor and a, a sledgehammer and then for mounting the, the, the drill to the drill stand, you'll need a length of thread rod and a nut, and also uh, a mounting plate. This is our optional mounting plate, and you can see it's, it's, a, it's as strong as possible for giving a really secure mounting to the workpiece. And also in your setup, you'll, probably, you'll need a tape measure to measure where to put your hole, and you'll, if, if it's crucial, the alignment of your hole, you'll need to have some kind of a spirit level for aligning your stand before you finally tighten it down onto the workpiece. And so, first we'll do, we'll, we'll begin by drilling our, our hole for our drop-in anchor. Now, before you set your anchor, you have to make sure the hole is completely clean, free of any dust make sure it has a good hole, otherwise it may come loose when you're operating and that would not be good. Now to set your anchor, you use this special setting tool so you can drive it into the hole without damaging the threads. And you just take your sledgehammer and drive it into the hole. Tool. Now I'll put the stand in place over the anchor and thread in the rod. This is our mounting place. Thread in the rod. Make sure it's fully threaded in. That's good. Then before you fully tighten the anchor, if you need to, you can check the level of the base and adjust it as needed. And once you have it level, you final tighten it. And now the stand is ready to drill.